My name is Marley Drum. I'm the superintendent for Columbia Animal Services and oversee anything that uh, involves animal control or animal welfare for the city of Columbia, which is, could be um, adoptions, lost and found pets, uh, ordinance enforcement, uh, just anything to do with cats and dogs and a variety of other animals. We're, we're in the middle of it somewhere. The animal shelter is uh, actually where we house all the animals, take care of them, try to place them in new homes, help current owners find their lost pets. We take uh, pretty much, we've had pretty much anything from time to time, mostly cats and dogs obviously, but we get our share of uh, ferrets, rabbits, uh, the small rodents like gerbils and hamsters, guinea pigs, uh, then we get a variety of occasionally birds and snakes, and just recently we even got a tarantula. With the animal shelter itself, we have multiple volunteers as far as numbers. I bet we get dozens every week that come in and out that uh, mostly spend time socializing the animals to make them more adoptable to the public and just keep them happy while they're here. Each year we get anywhere from 13 to 14,000 animals here, and uh, which is a huge number. And sadly, due to pet overpopulation, only about 2,500 of those animals will be adopted or sent back to their current owners. We, we do a lot to try to get them adopted. We work with a large variety of Purby rescue, rescue groups, local rescue groups, uh, regional ne uh, rescue groups, uh, even some national rescue groups. We also have done off-site adoptions. We're open uh, six days a week to give the public pretty uh, plenty opportunity to get in here. Some people come in here and are amazed at how bright and open an area it is, and how uh, you know we keep it very clean, and that uh, it's not the scary doggy dungeon you see on TV or movies or what have you. That there are a lot of good things happening here, and a lot of animals are getting placed into good homes. The good news is here, once something's placed up for adoption, it stays there until it gets a home. And that's so people don't uh, make adoption decisions out of guilt. They can take their time and find the right animal. But once we get them down to adoption, uh, to our adoption facility, we, we keep them there until they get into homes. It's a great place to get a new pet. And most shelters like ours require spay, neuter, microchipping, and all of that before the animals even go into their new homes. So we know they're not contributing to pet overpopulation. So uh, for a, a nominal fee, you get all of that taken care of, and you can get a wonderful animal out of it.